uh, hey guys, and um, I know some of you guys have been wondering why I haven't been streaming. Um, well, for starters, one, I can't, and uh, two, I haven't finished working on the rig some more. And so today, I figured because I haven't streamed, I'll do a video and let you guys see the video. And today's um, video is going to be um, routing holes for things like front USB and some of the tools you'll need. Uh, you will need a hot glue gun. You're going to need a powered Dremel, i.e. not a battery pack one, you're going to need one that needs a cable, you know, because you're going to need the whole RPMs to chew through this uh, aluminum smoothly. And if you don't like hot glue, double-sided foam tape. And uh, what we're doing today is I'm going to cut a small little uh, hole here and then feed the side panel info through, which is our USB 3.0, USB 2.0, microphone and uh, 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 headphone jack out. So yeah, and I know a lot of you are thinking, wait a minute, um, why am I putting it on this side and not like out the front like most cases? Well, for starters it won't fit. And I'm not gonna put a cable extension on this stuff because there's too much wiring. Um, I've got a limited time as it is and so I can't do that right now. Most importantly, I still got to put the extensions on the power, the reset, and the power LED. Um, those themselves have to be extended and put through the front. Plus, I need to start cleaning up uh, the case itself. Uh, the water cooling is installed, as you can see. There's the res, there's the pump, and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, uh, hoses that I wanted to get were completely out of stock everywhere I went. So I ended up having to go with this braided stuff, uh, which is meant for uh, swamp callers. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, I'm also going to be, at a later date, I'm probably going to uh, tap and drill through here and run my power through here. So there's nothing this side of the bulkheads. And that's what these are, these are bulkheads. Um, we did take a little bit of frame damage here as I was transporting it to a friend's place because he's got a CNC machine. I was gonna have this back panel here, a CNC, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen for a while because he's getting ready to go out on deployment. So it looks like I'm gonna have to dremel it. Dremel it. And so without further ado, time to get to my extension cable that's buried under about a uh, thousand and one boxes. And of course we're gonna power it up or not. That's because I just disconnected the extension cable. Typical. some tissues. I don't know why I'm giving you the rundown but we have power. But most importantly I'm not going to start cutting until I can find my safety glasses because if I start cutting and there they are and my wife does not see me wearing safety glasses she will literally remove my testicles with a pair of needle nose pliers. So safety glasses and so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to work on this first so you guys can see it but it's still basically the same principle for the back there I've masked off certain areas and I've got my cut lines these are lines that I cannot go past if I do I've removed too much material and I'm going to need either a new top or I'm going to have to break out my welder and that is a lot time, energy, and effort that I just right now can't afford to spare. So we've got our lines marked, and I'm gonna have to start cutting here in a few seconds. Uh, I am using some Dremel 
heavy duty discs I'm not using those stupid uh, emery board style discs these are the heavy duty suckers and so uh, yeah I'm going to make a couple of plunge cuts one going this way one going that way and then I will size fit this up so uh, I'll see you in the next part guys Okay, so guys, we've cut a hole, as you can see, the uh, panel's still done it. It's actually still a little bit warm, uh, again, because this is um, steel, I think this is steel, should be steel. Where's the magnet? Give me a magnet? Yeah, it's steel, it's ferrous metal. So it's very thin steel. I've got the uh, uh, um, external module. Now, I know that there's going to be plexi here and so for now I'm um, again this is just temporary guys I may decide to put a, a fixture in the, the plexi later on but for now this is where you can either use hot glue or that tape so I'm going to go ahead and heat up the hot glue gun it's going to take about three or five three to five minutes to heat up uh, depending on the temperature of the glue you buy and the gun you've got. Uh, again, that's another thing that a lot of modders won't tell you is, you know, some of the tools that they use. And there is a there there is an unspoken tool that a lot of modders use that they don't talk about because they think it's their secret weapon. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's coffee. Lots of coffee. Coffee, energy drinks, whatever you want to call it. Unfortunately, I can't find the rest of my glue sticks. Bless you, that would be the Baroness sneezing. Bless you. I'm gonna find the rest of my glue sticks later and, and do some other work. But after this, I'm gonna take you to the back of the case. And so you can see uh, what we've got to do back there and uh, the fun that we're gonna have fingers bloody crossed and so while that's heating up in fact I'm, I'll, I could probably do that now so give me a few seconds to move the spotlight there we go sorry about that guys I'm gonna grab this real quick so the area's already been marked off. The area's been marked off with some Sharpie. This is my cut line. Now, I'm not worried about the plunging cuts because there's already holes pre-measured and pre-drilled and whatnot here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut along, take this piece off. Now, I have gone ahead and taped up the IO ports on the motherboard, graphics card, and even the back of the power supply. Uh, reason being is I don't want metal shavings getting in there and causing any mischief but most importantly before I even fire this rig back up I'm gonna start up my air compressor or grab a, uh, a can of compressed air that I know I've got lying around but for the love of Jimity Cricket do you think I could find it right now no anyway and uh, clear it out and my dog wants to say hi he's fine go on go <laughs> so anyway guys that's what I got planned. So the next video you're gonna see this whole section is gonna be cut out. The reason why I'm not recording me cutting it out is because it's loud, it's noisy, and frankly, I'm too lazy to edit the sound out in Sony Vegas. So there you go. Uh, so next scene you're gonna see, it, the next episode bit you're gonna see is this is gonna be gone, and we're gonna have our front USB panel here is going to be uh, installed and uh, working correctly so in fact let's see I believe we, we're, we're almost good almost good another five no I'd say another three minutes and that glue's ready so yeah till then guys I'll see you in the next next video uh, okay guys so as you can see I'm going to zoom back out sorry as you can see we have in fact cut almost half inch out of this main substructure here it's fine because the rest of the structure is bolted 
Uh, I'm probably going to put a little bit of tack weld up here to hold the casing for extra rigidity, maybe even some pop rivets. But as you can see, we, this is the reason why you should never fire a PC up right afterwards this is where you're going to need a compressor it's where you're going to need a whole bunch of different air tools a uh, 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 can of compressed air etc etc because you don't want this sort of dust metal flakes and particles and whatnot um, getting inside your circuits inside your your pinouts and whatnot and causing shorts and stuff so always air on the side of caution hence that's why I've put uh, this blue painters tape up it actually survived a couple of slips from the uh, from the spinning wheels of death. Um, I didn't even go through that many. I only went through like two or three. Uh, so that's actually pretty surprising for a job of this this sort of magnitude. But uh, yeah, she she's uh, the 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 the, 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 cast, the chassis the case is primarily set now. Um, a lot of people keep asking me what am I going to do down the bottom. Ultimately, I'm going to move the power supply down into the bottom once I get some um, cable extensions for like the 8 pin, 24 pin, etc, uh, etc, etc, etc. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm also going to be designing a more permanent system for the radiator to be mounted. This radiator is currently right now only calling the CPU. Um, so yeah, I know it's way overkill. I mean, this CPU doesn't even see above 30 degrees C. So that should tell you something uh and yes she is overclocked <laughs> so yeah i'm not exactly pushing her so and, and and so that's the current state of the case guys uh i hope you enjoyed this work this build work log um sorry i didn't show me using the dremel and whatnot reason being is uh the dremel is quite loud um it's quite noisy and frankly again like i said i'm just too lazy Like I said, let's turn you around. Hi. Uh, frankly, I'm just too bloody lazy to uh, mute your audio and whatnot and play some music tracks or shit in the background like some guys do. Um, so next is I'm going to be blowing the dust off the monster, uh, the, the, the metal particles and the flakes and whatnot. I'm going to blow them out, um, remove the painter's tape. Uh, blow it out again because you don't know what the painter's tape's hiding, what it's captured, etc. etc. Uh, so give it a, a, th a thoroughly good clean uh, with some uh, um, uh, with some uh, uh, with some orange blast stuff. Uh, so yeah, and then I'll probably uh, hit up certain spots of the case uh, where I, I've seen some surface rust where the primer didn't settle properly. So I'm gonna sand those back and reprime. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is a build log slash work update. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, it's been a royal pain in the ass to do. Uh, let me just adjust the, this, there we go. And so yeah, it's tripod, don't you dare. So it's been a royal pain in the butt. Um, but it's a fun pain in the ass. The next update is I will be doing a um, soldering tutorial um, on wiring up the 12 volt LEDs. Um, this is uh, an RGB strip. It doesn't have the controller. It doesn't need it. Um, reason why this one doesn't need to control it is I'm only going to be using one color uh, which is white uh, this is uh, eggshell white I believe uh, I'll be using this uh, in conjunction uh, with some uh, D sub connectors or Molex connectors as you guys like to call them uh, going straight off the 12 volt rail of the power supply I'm gonna have um, one centre strip going down the centre of the top shelf, uh, sorry, the top platform, and another one going underneath the bottom platform. But I've got to be careful because there is uh, uh, the hard drive, the, the the main mass storage drive, is hidden under the second um, uh, 
uh, is hidden under the second uh, 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 platform. And so that's something I've got to be very, very, very wary of. Uh, also, I am going to be, I'm still deciding whether or not to frost the plexiglass or not. Um, I don't want to. Uh, the reason why, I've, if, I, if I frost it, then it's going to uh, accentuate the color, the, 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 the brightness uh, of the LEDs. The LEDs themselves are, are they're, they're not exactly dull, you know? Um, so that's why I'm only going with one strip. I was going to go with two, but that'd be way too bright. Uh, so I'm only going to go with the one strip on each platform. They'll be on the same circuit. So uh, I'll be able to uh, tunnel hide uh, some of the wiring through the uh, actual uh, corner chassis mounts. Uh, it's an old hot rodders trick on how to hide wiring. Uh, so I'll be doing that. Plus the power supply will be moved at that time. Uh, I'll have my extension cables ready to go. And uh, yeah, that, that'll be interesting. That's why I'm holding off on getting the Plexi on the case. Uh, reason being is uh, the final placement for some of the hardware is not set, i.e. the um, power supply uh, and the radiator fans. I'm not sure if I want to keep them the way they're at or if I want to flip them 180 on this side. Um, be a lot easier to get air in and out the system that way too. Um, I've also got to drill and tap a uh, fill port um, with a flip top style filler neck, uh, very similar to that of the uh, 68, 69, 70 ch Dodge Chargers, how they had that all pong, and it up, up and could fill it. Yeah, your car. I was going to go with something similar to that for the fluid. But in order to do that, that means the res has to stay where it's at and the pump has to stay where it's at. So I've got to situate where they're going to be going in order to do that. And I've decided on it. I haven't really decided on a case color. Uh, I'm still leaving that up to you guys. Uh, so go vote over at the Facebook group. Um, Cobra Nation Game. Uh, Cobra, uh, Cobra, Cobra Gaming Group. Um, so yeah, that that'll be interesting. On what colours you'd like to see the case? Um, I wouldn't mind like a copper gold colour, or or uh, um, silver surfer colour, silver, you know, with maybe some pen striping through it. That'd be pretty cool, pretty hot rod. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's the build log, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the uh, next one. So take care, guys. Adiós muchachos.